Yo, 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 what up, what up, what's going on, man? Salute to everybody tuning into the channel. It's your boy, Acito. I want to talk about Angel Reese, man. Big shout out to Angel Reese. Unfortunately, you know, she suffered a leg injury and she's going to be out for the remainder of the year. It's very unfortunate, man. You know, they were making a fight the Chicago Sky for the playoffs. You know, um, I think they won today, actually. You know, so salute to them, you know, for still, you know, fighting and keeping you know, good, good, positive energy, you know, as far as for the team. But um, it was very sad to see, man. You know, I saw her put up a post and I saw like tears in the post. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? So, you know, just briefly, you know, she was like, what a year. Never would imagine the last bucket of my rookie season would be a three. But maybe that was God giving me a taste of what they will be seeing more in, two, in year two. Um, you know, and she posted on Twitter, you know what I mean? Basically saying, you know, God gives his hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. So, you know, I guess that's very unfortunate. You know, she's battling right now for rookie of the year along with, uh, Caitlin Clark. That's a big conversation going on right now between those two. Um, I'm a huge Angel Reese fan, man. You know, I'm not going to hold you. I, I didn't know about injuries until the LSU and, um, the Iowa state game. You know what I mean? I didn't know. And I became fans of both, you know, Clark and Reese. But I kind of do gravitate a little bit more to Reese, you know, just because I can understand and relate, you know what I mean, her story, you know. And she comes from humble beginnings, you know what I'm saying? And she's still young. She's still, you know, experiencing, you know, a lot more just, just to life in general. So she's going to make mistakes and things of that nature. But I just hope and pray that she has good, you know, people in her corner that can, like, keep her on the right path one thing i noticed with angel you know she does a great job as far as with social media and branding herself but i do see that kind of exceeding you know her basketball career you know i could see her potentially probably going to do movies and i see her doing podcasts and modeling and things of that nature but don't forget ma don't forget you know what i'm saying the nba not the nba the WNBA. Women's basketball is what really got you, you know, to this point here. You know what I mean? This limelight, you know, who's to say you you would have probably been drafted, but, you know, the, the rival you had with Caitlin definitely helped, definitely helped, you know. But I see, she you know, she got her podcast and I checked it out, you know, dope podcast. You know, she did a great job as far as articulating herself and explaining, you know, her side of the story. I don't know about the whole spill the tea because there wasn't really much tea spilled. You know what I'm saying? She did address her relationship with um, her former uh, basketball uh, player at a uh, LSU. Uh, I forgot her name, but um, she talked about how her relationship with her, you know, wasn't the best like currently now. Probably due to her, you know, being a WNBA and them not, you know, being as close as you know they once were before. But she uh, also spoke about it was a period in the season in uh, LSU when the coach benched her for the rest of the game. And there was a lot of talk going on where she clashing, you know, with her team, with the coach and stuff like that. And she kind of explained what was going on. She was going through a lot of things mentally and, you know, she just kind of needed a break. But I, I'm just going to be honest, man. Reese, I really hope, you know, with you taking this, you know, time, more time off, you know, from the game that you – really get your ass in the gym and really work on your game you know what i'm saying yes you are a rebound machine one of the one of the best in the league right now one of the best you know what i'm saying um but there's still a lot of areas in your game that needs improvement you know from you being a better perimeter shooter um you being a better free throw shooter you creating plays with the ball, you know, like I said, you'll get up there, you'll get them rebounds, you'll get them rebounds. Um, but I feel like just being a little bit more of a perimeter shooter, I've seen you shoot the three, you have a nice form, you know, with the three ball, but I don't know. I just feel like, especially towards the rim, you don't finish as clean or it doesn't look sometimes it's not even with the look, but you know, you just look at certain highlights and you know, we watch her live sometimes when she's getting her rebounds and she's putting the ball back up. Sometimes it'll just it, it just look clear like a miss, clear miss. 
you know so that's that's just my critique for her i definitely would love her to be a better free throw shooter because you're going to be in the paint getting rebounds you're going to get fouled you're going to go to the line you need to be shooting over 85 percent from the three throw free throw line there's no reason why you're shooting 73 percent from the free throw line like that's that's not good that's not good especially you being you know what i'm saying a forward you're going to be in the paint you need to be shooting better with the free throw, okay? Now, for her first season as a pro, um, she averaged 13 points, okay? 13 points, 13 rebounds. We're going to say 14 points, 13 rebounds, two assists, and one steal game. You know, really great numbers, you know, for a rookie. You know, for a rookie, that's 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 great numbers, especially rebounds, because rebounds is very, very crucial you know, when it comes to sports and NBA, WNBA, you know, those are like second chance, you know, possessions offensively. And then, of course, you know, on the defensive end, you know, you're getting another shot at, you know, scoring the back, the bucket again, you know, what I mean, on the defensive end. So, um, but I, I just would like to see, you know, better stats as far as with assists and um, her shooting percentage, you know, she's shooting 39 percent from the field. That's, you know. I would like to see 45%, you know, for anything over 45 to like 50%, you know what I'm saying? And I think when you're out for the rest of the spring the season, you need to be working on your game. You need to be working on your game. Don't be in the podcast. Don't be in the clubs and all this. I noticed, you know, when they took that break from the Olympics, you know, you kept stressing about vacation. I heard her talk about this on a podcast, you know, vacation and people worry about who she dating. She young and. She needed time. It's like Caitlyn and I. Caitlyn ain't take no time. You know what I'm saying? She didn't. She didn't go overseas to watch the games. She stayed back, worked with her team, and now look at them. Look at look at Indiana. You know what I'm saying? I just literally just watched them play uh, Atlanta in an overtime game. You know what I'm saying? And they pulled through. Crazy turnover ratio. You know we. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely address that in the video. But you know they were able. If you look at the beginning of the season. People were saying like, yo, there's no way this team is going to win. You know, the teammates don't like Caitlyn. They jealous of her. She's getting hit. They're not helping her up. They're just all over the place on the floor. There's no um, connection as far as the teammates. They're not on the same path. Like you heard all of that in the beginning of the season, bro. Now you look at now, they done turned that whole franchise around, whole franchise. You know, so I feel like, I, honestly, I feel like Chicago Sky has, you know, the beginning of the they had more talent. They traded a lot of players. I don't know what the hell happened. Like their their starting five is totally different from what they have right now. You know what I mean? I don't understand. But they still have, you know, some great players on the roster that I feel like, you know, they should they should be a little bit further than what they are. You know, they got Kamala, they got Carter, um, who else they got? Uh they got Turner. You know, so they, they they have some great talent on the roster there. But, you know, it, when you look at something like at some instances, like the news clips, it kind of looked like they were like more concerned with the stats than winning. You know, what I mean, injuries making, you know, um, setting new records and, and things of that nature. It almost seemed like that was more important than actually winning. And I'm not saying like I think that I'm just saying the perception from what the media push. You know what I'm saying? It's like. The accolades meant more than actually winning, you know. So I don't know, man. We'll see what happens with Angel Reese. Like I said, man, I just hope that she really gets in the gym, gets stronger, work on your your perimeter game, your mid range game, and get better at the free throw line. You know what I'm saying? Definitely looking forward to seeing what you do coming back, you know, next season. And hopefully, you know what I mean, you 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 do your numbers like you're doing now. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think in the comment section about that, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all social media platforms at Aces Working Dedication TV. All right? It's your boy, Acito. I'm out. Peace.